Weather, we want to know what's going to happen, especially since there are two big events this weekend at St. Margaret's Episcopal Church in Palm Desert. Joining me now to talk a little bit more about it, Reverend Lane Hensley of St. Margaret's, also Reverend Derek Fossey from Hope Lutheran Church in Palm Desert, and Rabbi David Lazar of Temple Isaiah in Palm Springs. Did I get all those names and titles right? Yes, yes you did. I feel like there's a joke here. <laughs> so a rabbi, a priest, a reverend walk into a TV studio. No. Uh, a lot of those, but none of them are clean. <laughs> Where's the wine? <laughs> uh, let's talk about the events going on this weekend, and then I know we've got an amazing book and author you guys want to talk about as well that's really bringing all religions together. And I think to be serious for a second here, folks, to talk about this, it's great timing. There's so much going on, not only in our country, but around the world right now with diversity, uh, whether it's ethnicity, especially religion. We know almost every war in the history of this world, unfortunately, has been created over some sort of disbelief in others religion and mm -hmm. that's really what's important about this book but let's back up first and talk about the fun events that are happening this weekend to come out to the church and experience yeah well the events um the, the main one is for us saint margaret's day on sunday uh that's at 10 o'clock this sunday morning the the 15th and okay. that's the that's the ceremony with the bagpipes we've got uh, brass timpani uh our bishop is going to be here it's going to be a big party uh, there's a community festival immediately after that, things for the kids to do, lots of good food to eat, um, art shows and art sales, craft booths, all of this. So that's going to be a really good time. The, the night before, though, um, Saturday night at 5, Senator John Danforth, um, who's an Episcopal priest and a former UN ambassador and a great guy, is going to be speaking about his new book, um, The Relevance of Religion. Okay, and that's the book, and we got a shot of it right here. Relevance yeah. of Religion, How Faithful People Can Change Politics. And that's why, that's why all of us are here together at the same time is because his premise is that politics is broken, that, that uh, people aren't brought together by our political system anymore. That's just how we argue. And that religion, if we do it right, we have, a, we have the potential to be uh, what religion is really about, binding people together. Uh, as for the common good, for common causes that benefit the entire community. Yeah, and instead of pointing out and, 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 and uh, kind of add in here, Reverend and Rabbi, I think that's often too much what happens in society all the time. And I'll even blame my own profession, the media, especially on the national level, is guilty of this all the time, of pointing out the differences so much in the religions, and that happens then with politics, it transfers over, and that gets every other American fighting with every other neighbor of theirs just because they have some difference of opinion in religion, when in fact, most religions are all preaching the same thing, just in maybe a different well, way. Well, the non-crazy ones. I mean, you're talking about the Starbucks. You're talking <laughs> about the right. Starbucks cups. Right. But the reality is, I don't think any of us are too worried You don't care about, about Starbucks. the Starbucks cup. No. no. It doesn't make you a good Christian if you think Starbucks had a good or bad cup, right? It does They're not. They're not trying to kill Christmas. It does not make a difference whatsoever. Okay. And I, you heard that right there. <laughs> Three men of the cloth saying the cup doesn't matter. Okay, good. Yep. And I think that there's a hunger uh, in our society for people to come together for the common good to work together. That's why people are so put off by the politics today and by religion because oftentimes the most polarizing and boisterous people are getting all the attention. And they're the extremists That's of whatever right. that group may be. It may be Islam. It may be uh, Catholicism. It may be Christianity. Uh, it's in every religion. But every religion is a, a place for the extremists to come in. And I think what we're offering here is not only a message of not extremism, but also a message that we, we provide a safe place. For people to right. come and have a civil discussion, the things that really bother them, and that comes in with politics as well. Can you guys go to D.C. and talk to the politicians? Because I'll tell you what, left and right, I think well, but, Americans are sick and tired of it as well. And they right. just want politicians to come together and get things done in D.C. for the common good of the American people. Mm -hmm. But again, it, you have to be polarizing to the extreme left or to the extreme right to get your sound bites on TV and to get voted for. But you're making a good point about D.C. That's exactly what the Pope did. The Pope shows up, addresses a joint session of Congress, then goes to the United Nations, and all the um, broadcast media cover it live, the whole thing. Um, the political debates right now not being broadcast live. Why? Because they're divisive. Because the Pope is coming and saying something very simple like, we need to take care of each other. We need to respect each other. We need to be uh, looking out for the interests of the common good. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't about converting people to Catholicism. It was about pulling us together yeah, as a no united people. Yeah, no matter what people. religion or background or ethnicity. Right. right, exactly. All right, one more time. Put the information on the screen if we didn't do so. There it is. Uh, that's when the former senator, John Danforth, will be in town over at St. Margaret's Episcopal Church Saturday at 5 p.m. doing his book signing and talking about the rev uh, relevance of religion. It's a great sounding book. May I keep this one so I can read it? Absolutely. Awesome. Great. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And then if you Thank want to you. go out to the St. Margaret's Day, that's Sunday beginning at 10 a.m.
Appreciate it. Thank you guys very much for coming in, talking about that. Great, great stuff. Uh,